Okay, I'm using the pressure cooker and the parts of the pressure cooker, of course, are the actual boiler, the top, the pressure regulator, and the pressure gauge. These are the items that help you be safe when using the pressure cooker if you follow the instructions that go along with using a pressure cooker. It's under a lot of pressure. You do not want to disturb it too much. Always move slowly and use cold water when you are releasing the pressure at the sink that I will show you in just a moment. I've got my pork hocks in here cooking. They've been cooking for about an hour now. I want to make sure that they are tender. Typically with other foods that I put in here, this little regulator is constantly moving back and forth, but it's just kind of, you know, doing a little ch -ch 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 -ch. So this pressure indicator right here shows that it is fully engaged with pressure. So I'm going to slowly pick up the pressure cooker and take it over to the sink and run cold water on it. If you are afraid of pressure cookers and don't want to risk handling the pressure cooker with all this pressure built up under it, you could go ahead and just lower your temperature to, to off so that you don't even have to touch it and just let all that pressure drop and this pressure indicator on the pressure cooker will drop down and then you can feel a lot safer about taking it to the sink and running in the water over it and then using you know the pressure cooker the normal way. What you want to do is just also use an oven mitt if you've got one so that you don't have to feel that scary part of having the pressure on. So just pick it up slowly and lift it straight up. It may be heavy if you've got a lot of water in it and take it over to your sink. So I'm about to go ahead and turn on my cold water so that when I bring the pressure cooker over, it's already ready for me. I'm coming over and I'm moving very slowly and to not disturb any part of the pressure cooker. I'm going to lower it slowly into the sink and let the water run over it. And this little pressure indicator right here is still up. And what you want to do is when that drops, see that? I moved it just a little bit and I knew all the pressure was out. When that thing sinks, you have reduced enough pressure from the pressure cooker in order to take the lid off. But if you don't feel comfortable with that, which I never do, I always then take this pressure regulator off so that I can release even more pressure. And it will be hot, so be careful when you remove that. Now at that point, it's okay to turn the water off, slide the top off. Okay, and here are my pork pot, I'm going to check to see if they are tender. Oh wow, yes they are. So these are tender. See that? They are tender. Alright, I hope this helps you. Happy New Year, y'all.